Nikola Jokic. Some wild shots yesterday. Brian, is there anyone else in the league who can hit this shot? Take a look. Um, no. And, he, and there probably shouldn't be anybody that tries it. By the way, it doesn't always go in, but it goes in enough that he can keep shooting it. He is he is one it's of one arc. in the NBA right now. Look, he doesn't have great, much. Right, right. It's not the di it's not the distance. It's the arc, the way that he exactly does. Exactly, right. right. He doesn't have much lift off the ground, but he makes up for it in his shot. <laughs> Wee! All right, Miss Friendship. Russell Westbrook driving in, gets turned away by LeBron. This was an ongoing theme for this entire Lakers Rockets series. Why was LeBron picking on Russ like this? You know, LeBron could have talked some trash because some of these were flat nasty, but he likes Westbrook. So his respect was that he didn't show him up after he did it. Now other guys in the league, including Steph Curry, he has not been afraid to make a little uh, uh, maneuver after oh, yeah. making these plays. But I got to tell you, watching this, it's a rough watch for Rockets and Westbrook fans. Look, Brian, you're talking about the face, the, the face that Bron does after big plays. You're talking about respect. Like, if it's my friend, I'm not doing that to my friend. I'm not volleyball swatting it. I'm just going to tap it out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's respect among opponents today. Come on, it's still, still, still got a little flavor. Got to put a little flavor on it. Make mistakes. Austin Rivers drawing the foul. Slaps the ball out of frustration. And this hit LeBron in the head. Now LeBron wheels around Austin very quick to assure him this was just a mistake. Today, does this remind you at all? Remember the Tyler Hansborough Meta World Peace one from a few beers back? Yeah, yeah, you turn around and you, you sort of remember who you're dealing with. But you know what's funny? I watched the versus battle, yes, uh, was it yesterday? Or a couple days ago? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I watched the versus battle. It's like when your auntie says stop doing something and then immediately you get shook. Yeah, that's the same feeling I got when LeBron turned around. I'm going further old school. I'm going <laughs> Devo in Friday. But he doesn't talk oh. when Devo's there. When he leaves, he'll be talking again. You can have my chain. You can have my chain. <laughs> His grandmama gave him that chain. I love chain. it. Let's <laughs> Let's stick with the Lakers, guys. After taking care of business in Game 5 on Saturday, the Lakers will have five full days of rest before the Western Conference Finals begin on Friday. The winner of Clippers Nuggets series, they will have two days off before resetting for the Lakers. Chanae, how much of an advantage do you think that extra rest is for L.A., for the Lakers side of it? Because we always talk about rest versus rust, right? Yeah, yeah. First of all, I'm super happy that Brian Windhorst has watched Friday. Major points in my book. <laughs> Um, but when we're talking about <laughs> rest, I think it matters a lot just because LeBron, you know, for him to get rest, his usage rate has skyrocketed in the bubble. I think he's third amongst active players still playing in the playoffs. So for him, the rest will be extremely ben beneficial. But overall, we're literally talking about a Nuggets team that has played, you know, it was funny, the interview with Malika and Jokic, he was like, oh, no, 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 I haven't just been to you know, two game sevens, this is four counting back, you know? So for them mm -hmm. to still continue to pull this off is so impressive. And and it's been really impressive just because Jokic in those elimin elimination games, he's balled out. So, so I'd be concerned, you know, uh, just having a team that's hungry and, and playing well more so than a team that is rested. You know, the Lakers have had some challenges that I thought were gonna give them problems in these playoffs and they have handled all of them maybe a little wobble, a little bit with Portland, a little bit with Houston. The Lakers have handled their business. And LeBron is locked in, and the other players are playing. I'm not, if you're going to have to beat the Lakers, you're going to beat them because you're just better than them. You're not going to get some tap-in advantage. I will say that the way the schedule works out, and that the, that the teams get two, whoever wins game seven is going to get two days to rest instead of one, which happened the last round. We saw the Nuggets just totally gassed in game one against the Clippers. There is a bit of an advantage for that because they're going to get 48 hours. But I don't think that rest is going to be a factor. You better get ready for LeBron James, rested, tired, whatever. That's a beast no matter what. Yeah, I, I agree. Although I do think, look, you know, we talk about how old he is. Like, it, it does help. Every extra day of rest helps. So I, I'm, I'm sure they're excited to take it. But I do agree that the, the team that wins this game seven actually having the two days off, that is more of a factor with the rest rust component. Usually we wouldn't see that. We would often see a team play just every other night. Now they get two days instead. So we'll take a look there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.